Um, after this uh, first initial date, would you like to uh, meet up in person and uh, see how it goes? And what is up, guys? We are live going on another episode of Broken Habit. This is episode seven now, continuation of our last episode. And we have the lovey J Jamie now in person. As you can see, online does correlate to real life <laughs> connections. And I don't want to get just hit, shoot the shit about <laughs> what's your overall thoughts. Or or do we, do, do we need to like keep it a little bit more, uh, break the ice and hit it with another song? <laughs> you want to do another song? What's, uh, what's the song though? Uh, I don't know any go to. Am I doing, doing this, this right? right? <laughs> oh, <fuck> so, <laughs> I thought it went pretty well. I think that you're a very interesting person, and cool. like, um, give me like like essentially like the the Uber results. Uh, so your Uber review, yeah, kind of thing, out of five stars. Okay. Um. I think it was five. I think it was actually was like pr oh, pretty good overall. Like you're a good communicator, I'd say. Really? Yeah, I think you're pretty good at communicating. Um, and very easygoing, which mm. helps. Uh, and yeah, and very chill. Mm. Yeah, they have I, good vibes. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Because because I think I vibe off the person. If you're an asshole or you're a dick, <laughs> yeah. I kind of reflect that back at you. It, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's good that you're chill because I can be sometimes like a little like stuck up. So uh -huh. it's like someone can like balance that out. It's more mm -hmm. like we're all happy go lucky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, let's get into the more diving deep of like exactly what's your ideal person? Do you My ideal person? Do huh. you have? Oh wait, before this, like we oh, mm -hmm. we 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 were hungry as hell. So this is um continu continuation. Yes. We got food. Yes. And uh, now we're happy go lucky. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of sleepy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And uh, what we didn't get into is um, our ideal types. Mm, mm -hmm. So uh, you can shoot, shoot, shoot your shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say like. What you looking for? Are stats from. Uh, let's let's go from uh, most specific looks, looks. to uh, everything else down the line. And do girls usually? I think everyone has like a list, eh? Yeah, like to some extent, it doesn't have to. Like maybe it's not always detailed. Yeah, I feel like. For myself, like, I'm not always all just about looks because I do feel like, yeah, again, like, I'd rather meet in person. There's more to it than yeah. just that. But, but I mean, ideal. 5'11", six, 6 feet. At least, I, I mean, same height, I think. I don't know. It's cool. Uh, or Fun like, fact. <laughs> yeah, I, I told you this off, but, like, yes. I, I literally matched with someone and then it, it was going great. We we're going uh -huh. back and forth. And then she's like, oh, yeah, by, by the way, I'm, like, 169 or 170. And I'm like... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm only like 5'4", though. But I kind of catfish because I'm on my profile, mm -hmm. but 5'6", because, mm -hmm. you know, height matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and she's like, yeah. If, and then I told her, yeah, it's 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 not a big issue for me. It, is, is it for you? And she's yeah. like, yeah, sorry. I'm like, why the hell did you match with me yeah, then? Yeah, then what was the point of that? Yeah, I'm like, people... Any, anyways, <laughs> okay, go go on. Okay, <laughs> same height as you, okay. At least. I mean, Ethnicity that's cool. matters or no? Um, I feel like I'm pretty open. I mean, yeah, I feel like I'm pretty open about yeah. that. Um... Like, age, age. I do prefer older. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And I guess, I guess, okay. If we're talking about looks and stuff, I mean, like, just like being clean. Like, you just have a clean. <laughs> like, like, look. like how how how, how clean? I don't know. We're talking like, about it like just uh, looks presentable. Like, it doesn't have to be like su like super nice or anything. There's di there's different types of clean because we're talking about like, Asian clean. It's like Asian guys have no hair, body hair. We're like seals. <laughs> Like, I mean, okay, like, facial hair is cool, too, like, yeah, a bit of yeah. that. Um, but, I don't know, it's just, like, the way that they dress, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, is there a spe specific style you're looking for? Not really. I mean, I feel like I do tend to, like, have days where I'm, like, I like street or more, um, sh like, what do you call it? Streetwear or, yeah. like, you know, sweatpants look good and all yeah. that shit. Um, yeah, so I go with that. But sometimes I do like to dress up, too. So I feel like if they're the person's kind of like that too that's kind of a plus yeah mm, okay what else uh what? career career or what is on their your your, your checklist like they take mm. like they're they're well kept yeah yeah 
Um, I'd say, like, I think, if anything, what's important to me is that, like, they're wanting to work on themselves. Yeah. Um, like, career, I don't feel like is a huge thing for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just feel like as long as that they're wanting to work on themselves and continue to do so, because mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, you never really get to an end point when you're growing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like that's important because um, I feel like I'm trying to work on myself in that sense. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, like, I think, yeah, like, health, like, mental, too. Like, again, like, that's kind of being more self-aware, too, about themselves. Um, and, like, yeah, I guess, like, I think, I think like, physical health, too, is kind of important. Like, so you know, like, keeps, walking and stuff. Yeah. You know, just doing stuff like that. Is Needs to be shredded. <laughs> no. Doesn't need to be shredded, no. But, but it does help. I mean, it's cool if you if you if you shred it. That's great. That's yeah, great. But yeah. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like I'm like with looks and all that yeah. now. Um, I'm kind of just like more open as to what is meant for me. Again, yeah. like maybe it might not be what it fully I like expect, but mm-hmm. it might be better. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm kind of open in that sense. Mm-hmm. But how about you? What's your ideal? So one of the pros of going on a buttload of uh dates is like Mm. you start to figure out exactly what it is that you want Mm. and for me it's always been if I could clone myself and turn that into like a female version that would be my ideal situation but Mm. I say that but then in my past relationships I've found people who are just like me and then we ended up butting heads Mm. that was we're like too similar so Mm. my ideal um preference I'd say someone that's like Vietnamese. It's not like I'm like I have a preference mm. towards like Asians because mm-hmm. I, I realize it's more like this cultural like uh, understanding. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, your, your your parents beat you. Oh yeah, mine too. Versus like you got a time out. I can't relate with you. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say financially literate. So understanding money and how to make money is pretty important, especially like as older I get. Take cares of themselves like working out at the gym or mm-hmm. like doing something active like you don't have to be like um freaking like a victoria secret model or whatever but like taking care of yourself and your own body mm-hmm. very important um as well as some form of like entrepreneurial tendencies or like being their own boss or like understanding digital marketing as well as you know being very open minded that's something mm. like and and constantly like how you said, like um, going along the lines of like constantly wanting to be a better person, and like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, is you put all that aside. I just want someone that loves me for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like for sure. accepts me and doesn't make me feel like I'm not good enough, or like I I should be this and that. Like mm-hmm. to be a man or a woman, you need to do X, Y, and Z, or all the, all that shit. It's like at the end of the day, I just I just want someone to love me for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think that's my ideal type. Mm. But there is a look. There's a specific look that mm. I, I'm like. But I I've, I've talked about this to other friends. It's yeah. like if I'm if I'm if I'm like going for this specific look, mm-hmm. do I like sell myself short? Because that look is associated with this type of like personality. Mm. So you know that's a tricky mm-hmm. thing. So it's mm-hmm. like I don't. I think guys are more picky. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think in terms of looks? I think yeah, like looks seem to be more important. Yeah. Um. Like, I feel like that's what guys kind of look for, especially, Mm -hmm. like, with apps and stuff. Yeah. Looks are, like, very important. Looks are the only thing you judge each other on. Yeah. Right? It's true. Like, the first thing, right? Yeah. I I agree with you about, like, being Mm open-minded. I think that's important. I mean, like, maybe we don't have to agree on everything, but, like, at least being open enough to listen to another person's perspective, right? Yeah, because one thing I know is that, like, uh, with, like, uh, these people are still going in, right? On the crabs? (laughs) So there's people going, going in on the crabs. In the car next to us. <laughs> I'm like, just freaking chowing down. Yeah. But, um, what are we talking about? Uh, expectations, because, like, when, 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 one of the things of, like, going on a lot of these dates is, like, I realize girls have very specific expectations, mm. which is, is, um, it's not wrong, but it's, like, it made me feel, wait, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost my tangent. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It, it, it made me feel like I wasn't good enough because I didn't meet their expectations and I needed to change who I needed to be for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But but I the reality that. is, it's like I needed to find someone that's more my type of person, like more like open-minded understanding that just because 
you expect a man to be this way doesn't mean that like I have to be that way. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I agree with that hundred percent. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, uh, so I'm not like Debbie Downer because I think for the past these two episodes now I'm very anti um, social media online dating, especially mm -hmm. in because because one thing is like Vancouver dating is all like trash as is. I'm not. I'm just no, you're that. not wrong. <laughs> like it's it's hard finding something. Like, it's like Vancouver. It's like here. it's very clicky as is, and it's like, yeah. hard to meet people. And then you throw in like a motherfucking like pandemic. Mm -hmm. And then online apps, that mm -hmm. is, like, the worst of the the, 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 the world. And mm -hmm. flakiness. Oh, my God, yeah. Right? Yes. So you put that yes. all together. But mm -hmm. it's not, like, it still is possible. And I want you to tell us about your uh, success stories from success? your uh, friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, my friends, yeah. yeah. There's been quite a few. Like, honestly, like, one of my closest friends, yeah, like, yeah. found, like, a long-term relationship yeah. on on the apps like on yeah. hinge and yeah. it's like sometimes it's like it just be like that that their journey and their life like they meet these people and it's like actually really good genuine connections is a part of you jealous though you're like i why? mean <laughs> honestly like yeah like, <laughs> so like why not be? i'm not gonna lie no. yeah like it's just like wow well, why are they finding success yeah maybe like faster or whatever than yeah. me but like but also then again like i think about how like what if my needs or like what i put as a standard is different from theirs yeah. right and it's just that maybe right now is not the time for it. Yeah, true. <laughs> but yeah, how about you with like the success stories and stuff? Uh, for me, uh, I've dated mm -hmm. here and there, but I've never been in a long-term relationship for a year, let alone a month mm -hmm. on these apps. Yeah. But I have known people that have been on literally on these apps mm -hmm. in a month and they're like living together and they're shout outs to you bro if you're watching this <laughs> and it's like it, like it, it happens and it works yeah. there are success stories yeah. but just because there are success stories it's, it's just like another thing of like Instagram where it's like yeah you post your highlight reel but you don't see the 90 other percent of toxic people or the relationships that mm -hmm. you have to go through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's like you see that one success story and it's like why not you but it's like maybe they just hit the lottery and it's like mm -hmm. like, like you said it's not your turn until you know a bit later down the road you yeah know? Mm -hmm. yeah Dating is just something else. And just like online dating, the whole thing. Yeah. But. A part of me just wants to like go in a burrito, man, and like <laughs> not deal with people. But I mm. also feel like I need that that human connection of like, I think now more than ever, I think people are feeling more lonelier and more like out of touch of like their reality of mm. I'm stuck in my house all day. I want a boyfriend. Like I want a partner or a girlfriend. But it's like, I don't know how to step out of my house. So it's like, I'm just going to go in these apps. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of, I, I've met some people who just swipe me just to talk. And then they're like, they don't end up meeting or talking down, mm -hmm. down the road. And it's like, mm -hmm. I'm just wasting my time. Mm -hmm. It's just stuck in like that talking phase, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, just messaging phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone just wants like some type of connection, but also at the same time, maybe like the convenience of it. Yeah. Just staying home too. Because some people forget that these specific dating apps weren't made for the outlook of your own mental health right mm -hmm. they're made it's, it's a business right mm -hmm. just just, mm -hmm. just like facebook just like, have have you seen that netflix documentary the social uh, dilemma yeah i did i did yeah, yeah. it's like they're like they're specifically controlling you mm -hmm. so you're more primed to like see the notifications like yeah follow the likes mm -hmm. and like all 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 this so it's i think it's good to step away from the apps and like not have your self-worth especially as me being like an asian short male it's like i'm not the majority of what people are trying to match with mm. and it's like i can't because a girl or i'm not getting matches on these blah 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 whatever it doesn't mean i should have my self-worth in all these like apps right i'm because mm -hmm. for me when i match with people i don't know with you mm. on, a, on a like girl's perspective but it's like do you feel like you have to s prove to yourself when you match with someone or you have to like sell who who you are yeah yeah, yeah. i feel like yeah 100 yeah. percent. and i do not mm -hmm. like that feeling where it's like <laughs> i already know like i'm a chill dude but it's like when, when i put so much pressure on like this is who i need to be like, I, I need to put like yes put your like best foot forward mm -hmm. but it's like it, i don't know i'm uh eh. <laughs> i just, like dating it feels eh. kind of like yeah you have to really force force things and not like not always but just yeah. like you really like really try hard when you're on like the apps yeah 
And maybe it's not really always meant to be like that. Maybe it's supposed to be easier. I don't know, but like you're supposed to like <laughs> like I, like we're, we're talking about how like for me like just meeting friends, not even like romantic relationships. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It happens naturally. Like yeah, you, you don't mm-hmm. like. Fun fact: I've also sh- I've also tried to bumble <laughs> for dudes. Is it bumble for dudes? Or like just friends? Be oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't talking about grinder guys. I- <laughs> Maybe one day. I don't know. Um, yeah, like, even, like, trying to meet friends on these other apps, it's hard mm-hmm. as well. It's, even, it's just as flaky. Mm-hmm. And I think it's just something about, like, just putting yourself out there more, but not on these apps, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe, like, joining a group or something. Like, you you like you like you said you're into, like, dance and stuff. You probably mm-hmm. met more friends or potential, mm-hmm. let's say, partners mm-hmm. via going to dance versus mm-hmm. more likely than these apps. Yeah, I feel like, yeah... You have a something to bond over when you like yeah, yeah when you join like a, a group thing. yeah then the conversation kind of opens about that um, yeah hundred percent agree with that how about you like have you been like joining groups or anything no, like that no man or no. open to joining these these I sh- groups I should safely so yeah. one one thing I, I I did bring up is like I started going to the gym again which is great I haven't been in a year I feel great just be around dudes <laughs> like not interacting with these like. 13, 15 year old kids with like Jim Shark and their chest all puffed up. Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm so macho, but it's like, it's just good to be around people. And I think out of everything, learning to be alone, I'm gonna do a little wrap up here. <laughs> okay. okay. But uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna freestyle all off right. the dome. Go but on. it's, uh, even with relationships, what I've learned with especially everything in the world, it's like everything will leave you. And it's like, you need to be okay with like being, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> they're holding hands and she's like, hell no. <laughs> Um, it's like everything is, will 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 leave you, and it's like you need to be like hundred percent okay with like who you are as a person and yourself. Like even though you'll you'll be in love, and like you'll say you'll you'll grow old until you'll die, whatever. Like that person will leave you one day, right? And it's just being able to know your own self worth and knowing how great you are as a human. I think everyone's great in their own mm-hmm. cheesy happy way. Mm-hmm. And you just got to be able to find who that person is. Because the more I try to be someone that I'm not, the more likely that person is to ghost or flake me. And mm-hmm. the real connections I've made, it's like when I'm just fucking 100% myself and I don't put on a mask or anything. Mm-hmm. That's easier said than done. Dating mm-hmm. is so complicated. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think of how you guys have you guys been dating during these times? How is it? What's the experience like? And uh, if you haven't watched part one of this, check that out. That is the our first date. This is our second meeting. And uh, thanks, Jamie, for joining on, on this Potter, my YouTube. And if you want to see part three, give this video a thumbs up. And uh, there might be a part three. Who knows? You might see her. You never see her again. Who knows? You Who know, knows? do you? <laughs> my name is Peter. And uh, this is Jamie. And you're watching my podcast. See you on the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.